Welcome to another episode of the All-Time All-Star League. This week we'll take on Michigan State. Looking at the schedule, apparently Penn State has now jumped ahead of us in the rankings to number one despite Northern Iowa winning 116 straight games. This week though we'll have Michigan State. No weather can affect us here today. We're in the dome for our contest between the Michigan State Spartans and the Northern Iowa Panthers. Northern Iowa has a big time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. The Panthers will win today. And here's the opening kickoff. He sends it off. Smith fields it at the nine. Ronnie Young with a nice wrap up there to start the game. Michigan State passes left, picked off by Derek Watkins. That's five on the season for him. And the replay, just blanket coverage. It's going to be tough to get it over him. McIntyre takes over at the Michigan State 46. Rolls left, looking right for Ryan. Great catch by the 6'7 team. You said it before the game, you were right. You thought this guy would break 2,000 yards for the season. Well, he just did it right there. Hey, my hat's off to this kid. He's been a top performer all year long. I say we give him the Heisman right now. McIntyre looks right. Justin Ryan, easy play to start the scoring. Michigan State has the ball in their own 21, and off up the middle, absolutely nothing there. And off up the middle, Cronin with the tackle. He had every last pound of that big frame heading toward the ball carry. He's as big as you and me combined, Kirk, and faster too. Northern Iowa has one of the most rock solid defenses in the country, guys. Five wide out set. And he's sacked there by Steve White, fifth year senior. Fourth down, no punt to Blake Alexander. And he's gone. Too easy for the speedster. So that adds a little bit of cushion to their lead, Kirk. 14 0 Panthers. Michigan State's ball in their own 22. And up, up the middle. No. Brock White tackles him before he can even hand the ball off. Second down. Avoids a sack, avoids another sack, and gets the pass off incomplete. Look at this replay. He ducks under McKinney, who topples over on Cronin. He's still whipped viciously to the turf by White, but a great play nonetheless. This swing punt, Alexander nearly breaks another one. McIntyre takes over deep in Michigan State territory. Rolls left, too far for run. Second down. Bennett on the left side. Nice first down run. Bennett left side again. He'll coast in. Touchdown, Panther! And with that touchdown, it's not looking good. The Michigan State returner ripped down by his face mask. Michigan State coach doesn't like that one. And the Spartans answer with a touchdown, just burning Thornburg in coverage. He's not real fast, and shows right there. Put in the sophomore halfback Al Roach for a couple plays. Ooh, great hesitation, and Roach is almost gone. Tackled at the 20. Offsides on the Spartans won't count. Watch this replay as he kind of kicks out his foot, almost like a high step, and then just bursts past everyone. Slow mo replay. Just a quick little high step. I've never seen that animation. I'm not really sure how I did that. Looking right to Ryan, who drops the ball. Looking left to Ryan, deep in the end zone. Got it. Or did he? Ruled out of bounds. You and I challenge the catch. They will not overturn it as his left foot just comes down out of bounds. Michigan State ball. 
Big hit by Marlon Thomas. Leads to a Michigan State punt. To Alexander again. Some good seal blocks. Looking to the right side, and he is almost gone again. Now we'll highlight this next play out of the ace slot formation. It's called QB screen. It's a play where the halfback has the opportunity to pass to a few targets, including the quarterback. I like to put fast athletes at halfback in this formation who have any kind of throwing power, throwing accuracy. It's a way to utilize a skill set that otherwise in the game goes unused. So I've put many cornerbacks at halfback in this formation, many wideouts. And here I'll have Derek Watkins, the cornerback, lining up at halfback. So pitch left to Watkins, and he's just going to take off running. Nearly scores. And he's tackled at the five. How about that run by this halfback? Another pitch to Watkins. Runs over a man. Little juke move, and he's in. Impressive touchdown by a guy who doesn't play offense typically. Just running over the Michigan State defender. And he is injured, folks. Watkins, what a beast in suing Michigan State possession. And Watkins picks it off again. Second of the day. Right after he just scored an offensive touchdown. Bennett handoff on the right side, and he's gone, thanks largely to some Dan Austin blocks. The junior wideout. You can see him in the background there pushing down two defenders, making it real easy for the speed back Bennett. Michigan State so in position, another interception. So to Terrence Smith who tries to lateral. And Michigan State will keep possession. The 91 senior strong safety with an easy pick right over the middle. Trying to do a little too much there. And Michigan State's quarterback sacked by Kramer. Vicious hit there, slamming the quarterback to the ground. State will punt to Alexander, looking right, and he's gone. Burst past the initial wave of defenders, and no one will catch him. A perfect speed wide out. It's the ability to turn something out of nothing. State ball their own 23. Play action. Bryant gets the pass off to Jones, who's going to go 77 yards for the touchdown. He burned Hadley, the oversized middle linebacker, who is not a real good pass covering option. And so in kickoff, Watkins takes it up and nice return, but look at him swing, almost punch this state defender in the face. Physical game here today. McIntyre looking left for Alexander, who catches it. Nice pass. Defender falls down and he's gone. Touchdown, Northern. Looks like the quarterback just passed another milestone. You're right, he just went over the 2,000 yard mark for the season. Yeah, I expect we'll see him reach a few more milestones this year when it's all said and done. Despite the pressure in his face, gets off a beautiful pass. State will try the same thing, but Watkins breaks this one up. Next play almost identical, and Brock Daniels can't pick it off. Daniels, of course, the undersized corner. Never had too many stats. Third down and long, Cronin with the sack. He just comes right up the middle. Punt to Alexander again. Some great blocking will lead Alexander to his third punt return touchdown of the day. And on the replay, watch Kramer come over, former offensive lineman, and lay a key block that springs his teammate. Assume possession state. Throws an interception. Brock Daniels does come down with this one after dropping his first opportunity. And he's hurt. McIntyre looking left for Justin Ryan, who can't come down with it. Tough catch by the sideline. McIntyre looking right now. Tony Stewart will come over and catch it. Option left for Claude Lawson. Running a beautiful in and out play with Daniel Swan, the backup running back. Just zigging in and out. And then Swan doesn't want to get touched. Goes right out of bounds. Lawson rolling out, looking left for Ryan. He catches it, but he'll have it down to the one. And option right, Lawson will take it in. 
Make it 61 to 14 at halftime. Yes, they kicks off to Alexander. McIntyre will roll left. Directs some blocking, and he gets an extra probably 15 yards after contact. McIntyre looking right for Justin Ryan. Easy catch one on one over the middle. Defender has almost no chance against his 6 7 frame. That'll make it 68 to 14. On the play action, Kramer forces a fumble. And the Panthers will recover. On the replay, Kramer kind of steps on the quarterback's head as he gets up. The physical play continues. Hand off to Bennett left side, breaks behind the line, curls it way outside, and he's in for an easy touchdown. Panthers continue to pour it on. Michigan State ball and Kramer. Kramer absolutely destroying the ball carrier on this play. Leading to another Alexander punt return. Nice cutback, but can't do anything more than with it than that. But on the replay, watch the late hit by Young. Pushes a man, and then right as the whistle is about to be blown, comes up and shoves another Michigan State player. These two teams do not like each other. Option on the left side. Bennett with a spectacular spin move, and he's gone. To the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Poetry in motion from the best halfback in UNI history. Ensuing possession, Terrence Smith with his third pick of the day. McIntyre looks right. Easy play to Justin Ryan. My, what a catch. Great job by the quarterback to find the mismatch out there. It's always going to be a mismatch. Michigan State ball. I misplayed this one in NACA for Michigan State's receiver is gone. Next kickoff, Watkins nearly returns it for six. McIntyre once again looking for Ryan. He's got it. Great athletic ability. Then it will finish off the drive. And Terrence Smith picks off another pass, his third of the day. This kid just recorded his third interception of the game. Unbelievable. Bennett with a nifty little run to the left. Watch the state defender fly in and miss him. And McIntyre will cap off with an easy flag route to Ryan for six. Back a quarterback for Michigan State in now, Mitchell, and he's feeling the pain as he's sacked by Steve White. Com complete pass on the left side, but Ronnie Young comes in and just punches the ball out on the replay. Physical punch just knocks that ball loose. Hand off to Bennett, breaks right, and he's gone. The 10, and there's another one. Michigan State's ball, watch Mitchell just take this ball up the middle. Tired of his team getting physically beat up. Next play though, throws a pick to Watkins and that's his third of the day. That was his third interception, Kurt. McIntyre rolling right to Justin Ryan. Big chunky yarders there. We'll put him over 200 for the day. And sophomore Al Roach will cap it off. Little misdirection for Michigan State. And they're moving the ball. Pass complete for Michigan State. Did have an injury on the play. Another one of Cronin's victims. They shouldn't have a backup guard in there on him anyway. I don't care what the score is. You're going to get someone hurt. Speaking of get someone hurt, Preston Moore, the junior linebacker, limited playing time, showing what he can do if he gets more of it. Forced fumble and recovery. 
McIntyre tries to option left. Poor decision. Fumbles the ball. Michigan State recovers. They'll have another shot. Mitchell on the right side, the backup quarterback running again all over this UNI defense. And he is making a statement. Pointing the wrong direction, but still fired up. And that won't sit well with this defense. Next play, Mitchell tries to option right. Maybe a gain of one. Terrence Smith does put him down pretty hard. I'd be surprised if they didn't get some points on the board here as well. He throws it. Oh, what a spectacular. Let's see if they can punch this one in. State lets the clock run out on this one. No reason to try to make it any closer. 116 to 21 is the final. Brad, this is a really good looking football team. And McIntyre had a great day, 312 yards, five touchdowns, no picks. Bennett had 180 yards, six touchdowns. McIntyre had that one fumble late. Roach and Watkins contributed a few yards and a touchdown apiece. Justin Ryan with another big day, eight catches, 218, four touchdowns, two drops. Blake Alexander had the one touchdown. No sacks from the O-line. Defensively, Steve White finally stepping up and nine tackles, two sacks. That's more than he had all season, I believe. Kramer with two, Cronin with a sack. And the real story was the defensive secondary, Terrence Smith and Watkins, each with three picks on the day. Brock Daniels contributed one as well. More Kramer and Young, each forced to fumble. And no one scored any touchdowns. That wraps up a physical, dominating performance by the Panthers. Give up a few more yards and touchdowns than they would want. Michigan State showed some life late with the quarterback runs. But overall, this one was never in doubt.